Hey, what's going on folks? It's Mike here and welcome back to the Modern C++ series. In today's lesson, we are going back in time. That is, we're going back and going to rewrite our very first C++ Hello World program, but this time with the C++23 syntax. So we finally have it. We finally have standard print in the C++ library and print line. So no more C out and we can go ahead and teach beginners how to use the C++ programming language with just four lines of code. So with that said, let's go ahead and get started here. And I'll go ahead and just remind you, if you want to rewind all the way back to the first lesson, go ahead and check out the C++ programming language series here. But let's get into the code here. And I'm going to go ahead and show you how to write our Hello World program here by just including print and calling standard print Hello World. Wow, that looks magnificent. <laughs> and we have to remember to compile with C++23. Um, if you don't have a compiler that supports C++23, meaning you need at least version 14 uh, on most systems, you might have Clang or an equivalent uh, version that can otherwise use C++23. Uh, but you can check out my video on compiling for G++14 uh, and building from source. Otherwise, feel free to just pop over to godbolt.org uh, here, and you can just click on C++ here and grab the GCC version if you want to follow along if you don't at this time have a C++23 compiler. So anyways, with that note said here, let's go ahead and just run our Hello World program, and there it is. You can see Hello World here. Now, we're going to spice things up just a little bit and add an end line here by doing print line just so it formats just a little bit better here. And we'll go ahead and I'll put hello world. Wow, that's amazing here. We don't have to talk about uh, C out at all. And if we compare just how this looks here from a coding perspective, we uh, have, well, what I'd argue less sort of interesting syntax if I was going to teach a beginner about what these arrows are doing, uh, what this string is, or this const char string. Uh, we basically just have print line here and that's it. So it's kind of nice and it kind of makes sense. You include print, you get the print function and simple as that here. Now I'm not going to say that this isn't uh, not a value here. Streams are very useful and I do like to still have them, but it's looking as if the future as we've covered in the previous videos and again, feel free to check those out on the playlist that format strings are more flexible. So let's see what else we can do with this print line here, just to make it a little bit more interesting. And in order to do that, I'm going to go over to our favorite website here, CPP reference, just briefly and show you the input output functions here, print, let's go ahead and have a look here. And you'll see we get print print line. And we can also do things with uh, printing Unicode and some other functions here. I'm just going to go ahead and focus on print and print line for today. That's all that's going to uh, really matter for us. Uh, if we go ahead and look at this, we'll see that print takes in a, well, format string. And again, we've talked about format strings in the previous videos, so feel free to check those out. And then we can take any number of arguments here. So you're going to find out that if you have some C experience, this looks a lot more like printf or print formatted string, which indeed it does here. But again, with C++, we get a little bit more type safety versus the C language, uh, which is a nice thing to have here. Uh, and we can also use print with uh, streams here, which you can specify uh, if you want to print or write out to a file. So you can use this in the same way with print or print line. Uh, and again, I'll just go ahead and show you that the print line versions, basically exactly the same thing here, except that it does append the slash n character for us, uh, which will append the end line. And again, that's why we're able to print things um, slightly differently uh, in this example here with the print line, which inserted a space here. Okay, so simple as that here. Um, let's go ahead and see what else we got here. And, and this is the equivalent here, uh, as is shown here. Okay, or we can do, uh, you know, a few different versions of this. Um, so let's go ahead and see what examples we have here. We have print line, please enter, password. Uh, okay. <laughs> and with print here. Um, and it looks like we're getting some interesting stuff with maybe C++26 uh, here. Uh, where we could just print an empty line here, which is kind of nice here. So you can see that empty line there. Um, and again, this is getting us a little bit closer to how some other languages function. So um, overall, I like this and it works well with the format strings. Uh, now let's go ahead and show an example with the format strings, which I think print has here. And let's go ahead and see. Yes, so we're going to want to do something like this. I'll keep this open to the side just so we can have it. Um, but let's go ahead and give ourselves a little bit of data here. Like let's say we have a name here, maybe something like Mike. And let's go ahead and give ourselves maybe a message. How about hello, something of that nature here. And what I want to go ahead and do here with my uh, print line here is take advantage of these format specifiers. 
and let's just go ahead and put the name and the message. Okay, so something like that. Let's rebuild, recompile, and run in one line here. So there we go here. And we can see again that the name is, well, put in the placeholder here with the curly braces and so forth with the message. And we could go back to the format uh, videos we want here and space this out and use precision and all the different things that we learned about there. So it's equally as applicable there, uh, which is quite nice here. Um, so we can also do things with the positional arguments here, which is kind of neat here. So if I put in zero, that will take the zeroth argument name just as we have it. And then I can put in one. So no problem there. And I can go ahead and flip these around here. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. Compile and run. And you can see we have Mike, comma, hello, and hello, comma, Mike. Okay, so uh, again, we could use those positional arguments, which is kind of nice that we just make the change there. We don't have to mess around with any of the variables here. Uh, and we can also do some other interesting things here uh, since we're able to use the format strings when we're just printing stuff out. Uh, and what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to use auto here. Uh, and let's create a few different sort of uh, format strings. In fact, I'll just take the same thing that we have here, something like this. Uh, and let's just go ahead and uh, I'm going to just go ahead and create the uh, effectively the string here uh, as a placeholder with format one and format two. And then I'll just call my print line function with format one. And I suppose I need to have some information about this, uh, meaning how many arguments. I mean, I can just look at the string here, uh, but I just pass in the name and the message in format one or in format two. And let's see if this works. Now, before I go ahead and see if this works, see if you catch some detail here. I suspect this is not going to work here, uh, only because I made this mistake and will continue to make this mistake. So let's go ahead and compile and run. And we get a bunch of stuff here. Okay, so we get a bunch of error messages. <laughs> let's try to uh, decipher it just in case you run into this. Uh, and again, it's not too bad. Uh, in fact, we're getting a nice clue here at the very bottom. Format 2 was not declared const exper. Uh, let's see what other errors that we got here. Um, most of these are going to be of the form where it just says error. The value of format one is not usable in a constant expression. Uh, so that's this one, this one. Uh, and again, it's just giving us these nice notes here. Okay. So not too bad. Um, and uh, you know, then the underlying idea here is we need something that's constant eval, which maybe we'll have to do a video on here, uh, that we don't know what, you know, we're printing out because again, this is taking a, a format string or some sort of template here. So we need to be able to, to generate this here. Uh, so there is a simple fix for this. Uh, right, we need these to be const expert and const expert. So not going to change and something that we can evaluate. Let's go ahead and try that. And that should do the trick here. Okay, so you get the exact same thing, but uh, you know, the flexibility here that I could just pass in format one and format two uh, and maybe, you know, generate these or load these from a file or, you know, set up something interesting, but such that I can still run it at. Um, uh, with, with const expert here. Uh, so again, just another little tool that you have here. So overall, that's it for this lesson. We're going to just talk about print uh, line and print. And we've gone on a little bit of a journey here with the format strings just to get there. Um, and if you need just a little refresher, go ahead and watch that little um, or the previous videos on my format string. So again, for the positional argument, for example, you could put a little like spacer here for this one. Um, and let's do like this, for example, again, just to show you that they're doing something different here uh, with the spaces here. Um, oh, I must have just not saved here or something. Let's go ahead and run that again. Uh, there we go. Now there's 20 spaces there. Uh, and again, you can do all sorts of like interesting things here, uh, like equals um, or how about let's do like star uh, and like left align it or something. Uh, let's see for our format string. So that's going to fill in with 20. Uh, stars here. So again, you get great creative with however you generate these format strings. Uh, the point is that you can now use format strings with the C out like we learned about, or you could just directly put them in print and print line. And it's just one less thing to worry about here. Okay. Um, alrighty. So now I will officially end the video. And as always, as mentioned, if you want to check out those videos, check them out uh, here on my site. Uh, you could go ahead and check out this course here and keep track of your progress. Um, and I think that's it, folks. Uh, let me know what you think. Print, a long overdue feature. Are you going to write your hello world? Or if you're teaching someone, are you going to teach them with print? Um, let me know what your thoughts are. Is it simpler? Is it harder? Are the error messages better or worse? Uh, what do you think about this? Um, there are, again, many claims about the performance being better with format. Uh, and that's what I've seen anecdotally. So that's just another sort of thumbs up for the language there in that sense. Um, but uh, anyways, let me know what you think. Let me know if you're going to start using this feature. And I'll otherwise look forward to seeing you in the next one.